Okay, where am I? Who am I? What am I doing? Okay, they were fixing stuff earlier. So, let's see. I kept kicking people while they were fixing things. So I just decided to log off for a while. That was quite a few hours ago. <laughs> uh, finish doing some of this. I've been clearing up more and more of the basement down here. fortune pickaxe so now finally so it digs a little bit different it um, doesn't go as fast as the one I had before that has just the unbreaking and high efficiency but I do get more when um, I bust the diamonds open because normally I get like double anyways because of how many mining points I have but when you have a fortune pickaxe and you mine things like diamond and sapphire and things, then you end up with a lot more than you usually do. And so, like, I'll bust open four or five diamonds and end up with, like, 19 or something, compared to just ending up with, like, eight. So it's it's much better having a fortune one. Okay, there we go. Okay, and I have way too much stuff. I keep wanting to turn around and put the stuff in the furnaces and they're over here now. <laughs> Some of this. <laughs> it's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we have six deals of it right now. And some of that we would give to G. Um, it's still actually smoldering stuff. So. So where. So when it gets done with the um, with the stone, it'll do some of the other stuff, and then that goes into circuit, and then that goes down there. We've done one additional thing. Uh, she started a uh, sugarcane farm. I always want to call it bamboo. Sugarcane. And we did this. Uh, she came on, Stone did, right while I was doing this. So we ended up splitting the, uh, the task. It goes all around here, out over here, and uh, over here. I made a yellow brick road. <laughs> I was doing part of it over here. I think I got pretty close to the Let me see. Yeah, I got somewhere over here. When, uh, I think somewhere, yeah, like along here, when, um, Stone came on, 
and helped me finish it. We split the load. At first she did uh, these bits, the concrete uh, powder. I liked the concrete better as its powdered self in this case than in its uh, solid state. I just, I like the way it looked better, the texture and such. And then I used the Mesa blocks. Um, I really like their contrast like this. And then eventually we ran out of pretty much both things and had to go get more. So then that gave me, yeah. She went to go get the Mesa blocks and I went to go make more concrete powder. So then we traded what we were doing. <laughs> Because it wouldn't make sense to sit there and trade inventory, so we uh, traded what rolls we were doing there, and I'm leaving this gray. But yeah, I really like the way this looks. Got a nice uh, yellow brick road. Hopefully. Nobody comes along and sticks water on it. Um. Whoa! Hi, guys. Oh, we've made ink sets. And... So that's pretty much how things are right now. Um... I'm supposed to start watching videos soon that will, uh... I'm a cabin looking into things, but at the same time, not quite yet as much as I should. Uh, I'm starting to think of looking at uh, complicated rail systems. Okay, you're a sitting wolf, you belong there. Uh, mostly because we have so much space here that we kind of. It would help if we had some kind of rail system to help, you know. Move things certain places, things like that. So, uh, yeah, that's part of the reason why I'm clearing the basement too. It will just, it will help. And one of our uh, dwellers that come around, because um, we have a lot of people running around on this claim. Uh, J and C and A B N have the jungle over there. Which, uh, thankfully, you know, they're, they're trustworthy and things. And, uh, Avian came in recently and, you know, cause I said I was land for a while, did a few things. So, um, cause we were worried that, uh, he may act, he may, ooh, that he would lose his claim. Um. Because we found out that one of the other players, Cave Dweller, uh, actually did lose his claim. Um, because I was, you know, checking stuff over here and suddenly I was able to open the door that I wasn't able to open before. And I was like, oh shit. And ABN connected to Cave and everything else using this thing. And, uh, so... While it was open, I uh, went ahead and remodeled it a little bit. Uh, mostly because I felt like the way it was, it just didn't feel like it fit with our stuff. I'm still going to try to do some remodeling, but I don't want to do much. Uh, mostly because it wasn't originally my build. Um, 
and what I have done isn't that big a deal. Uh, and just add some stairs. This was blank and everything. It was just, you know, like a stair thing going over here. And I lit it up because I got tired of hearing the uh, zombies and skeletons that kept spawning in there. I think that was their intention, was to have it be like a spawning room. I'm not sure, but they left it pitch freaking dark. And it's connected to my building over here. So... <laughs> And this one is on my claim. Most of this is like Stone's claim. This one's entirely mine over here. And now this one's mine. Because we didn't want a build just sitting here that was basically on an open claim. That anybody could just come along and either take the resources that were in it. Uh, which cave had some stuff in a chest down there or um, possibly take the build and uh, live in it and we didn't basically want some stranger being able to live that close to us um, ow fucking hell so so I went ahead and I took the build. These were the markers I was using there for a while because uh, when I first claimed it, not every... It, basically this little part of it was what I didn't have left in land. But... Um, I was able to extend my claim when I got the Banshee. Which was another reason why I did it. I'd been thinking about doing it for a while, and then that was kind of like the last deal where I went, okay, that's it, I'm doing it. Um, so, now that's basically connected, and it's part of my stuff, and when I, when, one of the next times Cave does finally log in, if I see him, I'll go ahead and, uh, officially add him to the claim because that was part of the issue before is uh, I wasn't trusted on his stuff and I don't think he was trusted on mine yet I don't know um, he might have already been trusted I, I'm just not sure and uh, I don't remember those being there but okay and uh, so if he already is trusted, then that's no problem, and he'll be able to access his stuff. Um, if he's not, then I'll try to remember to trust him. But I wasn't trusted to his stuff before. Uh, it just never happened. Uh, so, yeah. If he's not already, then I'll trust him the next time I see him. And then he'll have... You know, access to over there again and can do whatever the frig he wants with it. I don't care. Um, okay, so I can't go that way. That's the border. I've been this way, I've been that way. Pretty much tried to go this way. Let's just do it. Oh. Somebody must have died right there or something because I picked up a flint and steel and a gold nugget. What the hell? Okay. Uh, yeah, that's right. And then I quit. Because I was like, ah. Okay. It's been.
can't they, why can't Mojang make some kind of deal where it's like we have lava boats or something? Something that we can go across this sea of... Yeah. <laughs> You know, because in old tales, they have that character, uh, Charon, or Charon, I don't know, just, however the hell you pronounce his name, the, uh, Farrier of the Dead, and he, um, do this, and he brings you across to a specific place in hell, um, or in Hades realm. Because it's part of the Greek, uh, the Greek stuff. Greek belief in Pantheon and old tales. So basically, you know, he's a farrier of the dead. Well, he will also ferry others for a price. Uh, that's part of where they have, uh, the whole, you know, ferry somebody with a couple of, uh, coins and things so that they can pay the uh, ferryman type deal because that's what it used to be. If you paid him a little bit then he would ferry you to where you needed to go and uh, you know that would be interesting if uh, Mojang did something like that. Installed like somebody that if you had some nuggets you could call on him in uh, the nether and he could take you across somewhere and then that would give you more reason to try to kill the pigmen because as it is right now if you accidentally kill them then that's when they come and get you well most people aren't going to want to kill them thus you know not get swarmed I mean a lot of people have learned their lesson after a while that uh, it only takes once or twice, and then the rest of the time it really is accidental killings. And I found a fortress! Yay! I wonder if this is that same one. My luck, it probably is. Let's go up. Oh, I had a freaking feeling it would try to tell me to vote. Vote, vote, do it now, do it now. Do it when I feel like it. I'm recording a video right now. Oh, I need to heal up my shovel while the next time I'm doing things. Yeah, this is the one I've been at a lot of times before. Oh, it doesn't bother me as long as I get, uh, wither skulls and stuff. I don't care. Over here. Freaking loot we know where. <laughs> okay. No, no, 
now, I'm just going back the way I went. Uh, I'm passing up some of this. <laughs> some of those courts, man, I'm saying, I can't go like, nah. That's not what I'm here for, that's not what I'm here for. take this bit of quartz. Passing this stuff for me really is, you know, it's like passing coal and when I get, when I find coal, <laughs> usually I'm like, ah, I gotta get it. And finding diamonds is awesome to me, but finding, you know, coal or the other stuff to me is just great too. Partially because it does give me so many freaking points when I'm getting it. Uh, you see, I'm already at like 44. The more I get this stuff, the more points I get, which is part of the reason why I sit here and dig at like everything I can and why I go after so much coal. Okay, I, uh, uh, let me up. Oh, wonderful. There we go. Okay, you know what? Let's make a little money. Hopefully they fixed cell hand. There we go. It was broken earlier. Damn it, I want to go this way. Many. Jesus, seriously? Okay. So where exactly? Okay, so, well, crap. Great, I find the east border and there's a freaking almost the entire fortress has been on the east border. Oh god. Oh, is it... Yes. It's <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just find that freaking hilarious. Okay, well. <coughs> Fine. If I can't go in the fortress, then I'll take it with me. Hey, hey, hey. I 
it's just getting close, not... I guess that answers my question about them being able to go over there. Trying to go north. Holy shit! Oh, quit telling me I can't go somewhere. Stop it. Alright, what direction am I in? West. Okay. Now? South. North. And then the rest of it, yeah, okay. Yeah, because the east border's right here. Oh, and the whole thing is... The entire freaking fortress is beyond the border. That just sucks. That is a tease. That is like the ultimate tease. Man. That is not fair. Great, now I'm reminding myself of the movie Labyrinth every time the girl goes, and it's not fair! Yeah, well, life isn't fair. Too bad. I always like uh, Jarrah's response to that whenever she goes, It's not fair! And then I go, Yeah, I'm beginning to wonder what your basis for comparison is. Um, <laughs> Okay. 
That's west, north. All right, let's try going north and see if we can find the freaking border there because I'm probably pretty close to it. I'm running out of food. I'm also running out of blocks. New Easter Bunny. And this is probably the same freaking fortress I was at before. That's just my leads to a dead end. Possibility this hasn't been raided. Or if it has, they only took spawners. Hi! So that's where you're at. Trying to replant, I'm trying to pick you up. Uh, if those are the ones that are up top. Some of this. Let's see if I can put this over there. Okay. No, it doesn't want to. Okay.
Hello, honey. I'm home. Oh, just a skeleton skull. Seriously. When I went up, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, and I need to keep going. I'll go down here. Holy shit! Okay, um, toss this shit. That shit. No, stop it. I want this. Holy shit. Okay. Um I don't care about that. I care about these. Yeah, I'll leave you this and that and three gold nuggets. So if anybody finds this, uh I left you that, a skeleton skull and some gold nuggets. That if you can get to it. So have fun with that. <laughs> Don't say I never gave you anything. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. One spawner coming up! one they missed. See what's down here. Okay, hold on, nothing. Nothing. 
nothing's appearing. Well, I would love to pick up your head. Yeah. Okay, I saw something. Whoa! Oh, my lucky day. He's got completely missed. Oh, okay. I thought it was one of them wearing one. It's no. Okay. All right. I'm headed up. Ow! Fucking hell. Box. Okay. okay. I'm pretty sure I went to both sides. things up there. Okay, that's the stuff I left. So... Down this side. Make sure I cleared everything here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. I was trying to get food, not. Make sure I cleared the whole thing.
this is that area. for home. Stone! I brought home a spawner! Two spawners, actually. Okay, let me see. Skeleton, zombie, 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 zombie. Blaze, blaze, blaze. There we go. Two more. And hmm. oh, I know what I can do with these. Oh no, I can do a couple things with them actually. One. Two. There we go. Ah, a successful day in the nether. I believe that's where I'm going to leave this. Me standing up here overlooking everything. I just gotta remember the next time I log in to either go back there or turn on fly before I do any moving. <laughs> Otherwise I'm gonna splat the ground pretty hard. But um alrighty. I'm leaving it here. Until next time. Bye!